for the gear train shown, what is the speed and the rotation direction of shaft C, and what is the distance between shafts A and B if shaft A is rotating at 540 revolutions per minute. This is the second example for the gear trains and planetary gears main video. Links to the first example and that main video are in the description below. We'll start with the direction of the rotation of shaft C. The front face of gear 2 is moving down and therefore the front face of gear 3 is moving up. Gear 4 is on shaft B with gear 3 and is therefore also moving up. The teeth that are in contact from gear 4 and gear 5 will be coming out of the screen meaning that the front face of gear 5 is rotating towards the left. Shaft C is rotating with gear 5, which means that gear C is rotating clockwise when seen from the top. The speed of shaft C is the same as the speed of gear 5. The speed of shaft A is the same as the speed of gear 2. With the rotation speed to number of teeth relationship, we see that gear 2 is a driving gear as is gear 4. We also see that gear 5 is being driven just as gear 3 is. Gear 5 is therefore rotating at 162 revolutions per minute. For the distance x between shaft A and shaft B, we need the pitch radius of gear 2 and gear 3, or their pitch diameter. If their diametral pitch is 8 teeth per inch, and from the units we see that the diametral pitch is the number of teeth divided by the diameter in inches, we get that the diameter of gear 2 is 1.5 inches, and since the diametral pitch of gear 3 is the same for them to be compatible, the diameter of gear 3 is 5 inches. The distance between shafts is therefore 3.25 inches. For one more example on planetary gears, make sure to check out the link in the description below. Thanks for watching.